Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's been a while since I've posted a vlog and I just want to quickly come and say hi. So this vlog I actually shot over a month ago so it's kind of old footage but I thought I'll post it anyway because I want to show you all the food that I ate so just when you're watching the content maybe some of the things that I'm saying in terms of like sneakers and stuff may not be that relevant like for example I was talking about the MX ones the concepts MX ones and that was like in April so I'm very sorry <laughs> that I haven't been posting for a while but I'm here and I wanted to quickly show you this banana stand that I got from human made look at this so it is a banana stand it came with this tag that says banana stand and it comes with these like replica bananas that can be removed and I think this is so cute. Obviously, when I saw the Instagram post or like the emails that they sent out, I knew that I had to cop it. It actually came in this box. I was going to save it to do an unboxing, but I was like way too excited when the parcel arrived, so I had to open it. And this is the replica bananas. Look at them, they look pretty realistic. So it says human made, and then here it says gear for futuristic teenagers. And well, I have like this really <laughs> overripe banana that I'm saving to make banana bread. But yeah, how cute is this? So I have this cute little banana stand in my kitchen now. So I'm very happy and I thought I'll share that. And with that drop, I also picked up these measuring spoons. And I actually thought there would be like regular measuring spoons where there are like a few of them. But it's actually just the one and you kind of just measure it based on like that. There are measurements at the back here. So it's just like one tablespoon one teaspoon and half a teaspoon so hopefully I don't forget that I should probably keep this little paper thing but I just thought the measuring spoon was super cute and it was really affordable and since I was trying to cop this I thought might as well add another kitchen kind of thing um, but yeah I'm very happy anyway guys please enjoy this food vlog the next video that I will post would definitely be a little bit more up-to-date so I'm very sorry for my absence but I'm back and I'm trying to think if there are any new sneakers I want to show you guys I probably do have quite a few I have some new balances um, there's just a lot of shoes. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one after this vlog. So, okay, watch the vlog. <laughs> another vlog so today we're gonna go to Viju salon my mom's gonna get a haircut with Bella and so I thought I'll tag along and also do something with my hair I'm just gonna get it styled or something while I wait for my mom to get her haircut but because we're early I decided to get some breakfast at a little cafe called Bake Mono I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing it properly Here are some of the croissants that we bought. They look so good. So this one here is a honey sesame, ham and cheese. That one is the strawberry pistachio. Maybe there's custard in there. And there's also a blueberry one. I've relocated to the food court in Emporium because it's so early right now that there's nobody. So at least there's somewhere I can sit and have my coffee and my croissant. I got a spinach and ricotta one because I just really felt like having something savory this morning. So this is what it looks like. The other one is an almond yuzu croissant. And I want to show you guys my outfit later as well. So my jacket is the Essentials Fear of God Coats jacket. It came in black as well as this like pistachio color. Oh wait, sea foam. <laughs> and I went for the sea foam one and I think it looks really nice. I'll give you guys a better look of my whole fit later. But for now, let's just eat this croissant. We are on the way to Viju now and it was actually raining before and I was like no my shoes I didn't show you guys what shoes I'm wearing but I'm wearing my Jown New Balances This is the second time that I'm wearing them out and it would be horrible if it started pouring and I had these on but the rain has subsided I think I want to get my hair braided 
um, just for the day and then like go take a photo or something. I don't know. I forgot to vlog while I was in Bijou but I got my hair braided. It's a different look for me for sure. I quickly want to show you guys my outfit. So my jacket is the Here I've Got Essentials in the seafoam colorway. Um, I'm wearing this in an extra small. My t-shirt is this really really old one from the Uniqlo like, Peanuts collection and I actually got it cut so that it's cropped. My hands is from Army that I got from Farfetch quite a while ago. I really really love these. I don't know if they still make them. And with my sneakers, I'm wearing my Jow 990s V3. They're so comfortable. Today I was going to go past Supply to pick up the Concepts MX ones in the far out. Is it far out? No, heavy. I keep getting it wrong. I wanted to get the heavy colorway, but I don't know if I have time right now. But that was the plan anyway. If I don't go today, I'll definitely go tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. It is another day, and of course, I am with Lawrence again, and we actually going to Hugo's <laughs> Deli again. I feel like I just went there, but it's been about two weeks now, and I've just been craving the sandwiches so much. I've been told that they have this new fried fish sandwich, but I'm a bit late today, so I don't know whether they'll still have it. Even if they don't, that's okay, because I'm here to eat all the sandwiches, and as usual, I'm super, super hungry, and we are back here. So, let's go. So we've walked to this little section so that we can sit down and have our sandwiches. And I want to show you guys this. How cute! They wrote Lawrence's name and me, Monsieur Banana. So today we got the four cheese and ham mortadella as well as the fried chicken because you know we had to have this. This is definitely my favorite fried chicken sandwich. Let's dig in. Because we took so long trying to get this content, the sandwich is already a little bit cold, so the cheese wasn't as like melty. We wanted to do the whole cheese pull thing, but I'm sure it's still really good. Mm. So good. Mm. How is this so good? How? I haven't already tried the fried chicken sandwich at Hugo's. What is I don't know you? what you're doing! <laughs> they use shokupan with this fried chicken sandwich and it's so soft and so yummy and we also added cheese if I didn't tell you guys before and the chicken is so tender. Like, everything about it is perfect and <laughs> I'm just so happy right now. In the middle of eating my fried chicken sandwich, I want to show you <laughs> the last sandwich we got which is the mozzarella one. I've never tried this before so let's give it a go. Mm. Sorry, that's probably not very cute. So the sandwiches were so, so good. And even though we shared three sandwiches between the two of us, I'm actually not that full today. <laughs> <laughs> I think because the mortadella sandwich was really light, right? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to tell myself anyway. But I can't remember if I told you guys what shoes I'm wearing today. So I was planning on doing an unboxing before I left the house today, but I was running late. So then I just put them straight on feet. So I am wearing my new Union Dunks in the pistachio colorway. Look at this. I love them so much. I've already creased them slightly. I don't know what that is. I don't know if you guys can see this little stain. Is this from my sandwich? I have no idea. But. This is my very unprofessional on feet for you guys. Like I said, I was gonna do a proper unboxing, but I ran out of time, but I will still do a mini little review, I guess, later on. I'll show you guys the box and everything, but I love this pistachio colorway so much. I got them from StockX, but right now we are heading back into the city because I want to go to Supply. I know I keep telling you guys that I need to go to Supply to get the concept stunks. Concepts Dunks, no! Concepts Air Max 1. I'm sorry, I was thinking about Dunks, so that's why I said Dunks. I need to go and get the Concepts Air Max 1. So I checked the supply website and they do still have smaller sizes for those Air Max 1s. So they do have 6.5 when I checked it last night. So hopefully they have it in store as well. So I'm gonna go pick that up and then I'll do a mini little unboxing in this vlog as well. And yeah, let's go. So windy. <laughs> Sorry about the awkward angle guys, but we are now having dessert and we're at Tori's. I got the strawberry yuzu basque cheesecake. Hopefully the audio is okay. And then Lauren's got the banoffee, which looks so good. And then I also, yeah. So I can see like caramel and bananas. 
And then I also got this iced tea and we actually have dinner later with my mom at 6.30. It's 4.30 now, so there's plenty of time. My camera's actually dying. I don't know why the battery life is so short. We spent a lot of time filming the Hugo's Deli <laughs> content. So I'm planning on doing like a little reels um, or maybe just on my story. So depending on how good or bad the footage turns out <laughs> um, I'll see what I can use also I told you guys I was gonna go supply and I did look at this and I'll insert some little clips that I shot on my phone because I don't think I'm meant to film in the store but I managed to get the concepts MX ones in my size and I also got a Supreme cap look at this it was the last one but look at the color I love it so much they match perfectly with my Union Dunks in the pistachio colorway you guys probably can't hear me because it's so noisy in here so um, hopefully I will actually use this clip who knows anyway I will eat my cake and I will see you guys for dinner. It is now dinner time. It looks so dark but it's only 6.30 and we're gonna go have dinner with my mom and we're going to this seafood boil place. I don't know if it's good. I've never been there before but when I was in LA in 2019, <laughs> I had this seafood boil at Boiling Crab. I think that was the name and it was so good. We're at Docklands at the moment and the restaurant should be around here. I should probably look at the Google Maps again, but I'm just gonna keep walking. I will find it and of course I will show you the food. It might get a little messy because it is a seafood boil, but I'll try my best. Is it here? What's it called? No, it doesn't look like it. Wait, it is here. Okay, <laughs> let me look for my mom. I feel like I'm meant to go down that way. Okay, okay, let's go. okay and I'm pretty full but there's always room for dessert so we are going to Picolina wait are we going Peter Pipo or Picolina? Picolina Picolina <laughs> guys so it's been a few days I can't remember the last time I vlogged it was maybe a week ago but I'm vlogging today because I'm at Hector's Deli but I'm at the South Melbourne joint because I really want to try their breakfast sandwich so let's go I was planning to get here at 8am but it's a little bit after 8 it's not that busy I overhyped it for myself I thought it was gonna be super busy because on their Instagram they tend to sell out of this breakfast sandwich my voice probably sounds different because I just woke up <laughs> and got ready um, but yeah anyway let's go guys I wanted to vlog a little bit while I was there but I also wanted to eat the sandwiches while they were still hot so I was just like okay let me just quickly take some photos and b-roll and I started eating it the breakfast sandwich definitely lives up to the hype highly recommend it I love the sausage egg and cheese well they were all good and we also got the beef and pickles and you have to do hectic sauce and cheese so mm. good, right? Good. Oh, which by the way guys, I didn't mention. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence is here again and we're now at South Melbourne Market. I don't know whether we're going there, but I actually need to take a photo of my outfit today because I'm wearing my new like Supreme North Face like fleece jacket. So I want to take like a fit pic. Um, I guess we'll just like wander around and see if there's anywhere good to take the photos. We're now at South Melbourne Market and I know I told you guys that I was very very full so I don't know where I'm going 
but I just remembered that I really wanted to get a croissant from Agatha's so I'm gonna buy some and take them home because I want to have dessert later anyway guys you know I want to eat all the food so I'm gonna go to Agatha's but it's been a while since I've been to some kind of market so I can't oh, okay I think I think it's further in front so I'm gonna show you guys their yeah, almond croissant is my favorite but they usually have like seasonal specials that are also really really good so we ended up getting the almond croissant and this is a coconut danish I've never tried it before but I think it's like a coconut crumble and I also love anything coconut so this should be really good but I'm quite full right now so we're gonna take this home with us so it is another day and I'm about to head out to another sandwich place at this stage this vlog is really just about sandwiches which I hope you guys are enjoying this food content but I'm going to this place called War Cobb in Richmond and I've never been there before but I've heard really good things about this Kaya toast and Kaya is like this coconut jam which I really really love so I'm so excited for my brunch lunch kind of thing today so I'm going at 11 o'clock so I should be heading out soon but I quickly wanted to show you guys all the things that I picked up recently. Like, look at this. So I have just been accumulating sneakers over the last few weeks. And I've been meaning to do an unboxing, but I don't know why I've been so busy. So I'm so sorry that I haven't posted in a while, guys. But I think I will leave all these sneakers for a separate unboxing video and leave this vlog as a food vlog or else the video will be far too long but you guys can see I have four pairs of sneakers here um, this is the supreme cap that I got from supply the other day I love the colorway so so much and I was happy that this was the last one I didn't expect it because the guy was like yep you got the last one and yeah I think it looks really cute it's such a good color um, so I'm happy with that but yeah, those are the sneakers that I picked up recently. You guys already saw the box. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably already know what they are. Anyway, <laughs> let's head out now. This is the Kaya toast I was telling you guys about. Look at this, it looks so good. And then we also got the rare beef. So this one is the chicken. I'll try and put it on screen like what's actually in here because I don't even know, it just looks very good. And then that one over there is the pork. Okay, I don't think that's like a very cute way for me to eat sandwiches. <gasps> Dog! <laughs> okay, let's try this rare beef. Why is everything so good? I'm here for the kaya toast, so I need to try it. Oh my god, it's so good. It's very messy right now, so you guys don't need to see this part, but trust me, it's so good. So we have this bazinga sauce that apparently goes really well with the chicken sandwich, so I'm gonna try it. What is Taliwang spice? So Taliwang is, um, so you got garlic, shallots, and ginger, tomato, um, chili as well, and shrimp paste. Yum! Okay. Well, hope you guys heard that. <laughs> this is the chicken that's in the sandwich. It's so yum. So today for lunch, we're at Wagyu Ya, and it's the one in South Yara, and we're gonna have some Japanese barbecue which I'm so excited about. Yesterday I showed you guys the sandwiches, they were so good and then for dinner I went to this place called Future Future. I showed it on my Instagram story, maybe I'll show you like little bits here and there but it was such a cute place but I didn't bring my vlogging camera so that is why I didn't vlog it but also recommend that place, was really good. But yeah we just placed our order for some, like, what did we even order? Yeah. Barbecue. Yeah, just lots of good wagyu, beef, barbecue, some entrees and stuff. So I'll definitely show you guys. So yeah, let's wait for our food. I will show you guys my outfit later as well. I'm wearing my new, oh my god, this is going to be so awkward. I'm wearing my new like <laughs> um, Supreme Brazil Dunks. So the thing is, I wanted to get just the Brazil Dunk Lows, but the resale price for that was actually higher. 
than the supreme one. It took me a while to like decide how to style them because they're so colorful but I think I think the fit looks okay. But anyway, I'll show you guys later. For now, we'll wait for our fruit and I'll show you in a second. We got the scampi carpaccio. He said it's like a new item on their menu. I cannot wait to try this. I'll try and write the exact things that are in this dish, but I know it's a scampi carpaccio with like blue tuna crab something. I should have paid more attention when he was telling me what it is, but I just saw it and I was so excited to just eat it. But the scampi is so yum, the touch is perfect and it's like so sweet. Like I don't know how to describe it. It's just very, very good. So this is the wagyu that we're going to be cooking and anything that starts with A is Japanese wagyu and then these ones here are Australian wagyu and I love how they've included little illustrations so you know exactly which part of the meat you're having. try the M7 Blank first. Everything smells incredible. So I dipped it in the sweet soy. The flank was crazy tender. It was so good. The next one apparently is even better. So it is the M9 Short Rib and we recommend it to dip it in the spicy miso. I can <laughs> try and grab this off my plate. Okay, sorry about the angle, guys. Let's try this. Mm. Wow, it like melts in your mouth. Oh. The texture is crazy. It tastes so good. <gasps> I'm so happy right now. <laughs> so Wagyu Ya was delicious guys and even though the meats were very fatty and quite rich. I told Lawrence, I feel like I can still eat. Wait, it's closed! <laughs> we walked to Tivoli Road Bakery because Lawrence suggested that we try the sausage roll. With chili it? jam. Yes, oh. because yeah, I don't know. For some reason, we still feel like we so can hungry. eat more. But I think we're too late. I can see someone in there cleaning up. I thought they closed at three, but Sold I guess out. we're too late. Anyway. I have another place, so the other day I saw this dessert bar that's up the road. So should we do dessert? Sure. <laughs> Let's go. We're here at a place called Yugen and it's a tea and dessert bar and it looks pretty bougie so I feel like we're a little bit <laughs> underdressed. Anyway, we're always casual up in here and we got three different desserts. So this one here is called the Pinoy and it is calamansi, latte, brown butter and sour meringue. This is what it looks like inside. Yum! We also got the vanilla slice. Looks so yum. And then the last one is the hazelnut noisette. Look at how shiny the chocolate is. But that's the calamansi flavor. Calamansi mm. is like lime. Yeah. Mm. I like it. It's hot. Anyway, guys, my battery is running low as always. I charged it right before I came today too, but I think because I was leaving it on a lot when I was at Wagyu Yo. <laughs> And probably the footage wasn't even that good. So I should probably bring a spare battery. Oh my god, to show you guys my outfit. Okay, I'll turn off the camera now. And then after this, I'll show you my outfit. All right guys, the battery of my camera is dying. But I'll quickly show you my outfit. I'm wearing the Supreme Long Sleeve Strip Top. I can't remember the exact name, but I'll make sure I link everything down below. I have like the blue version of this. And well, this is the yellow one. And I wore this because I wanted to match my Supreme Brazil Dunks and I actually really love how they look. I feel like the colorway 
is quite the vibe. And I paired them with these blue jeans from Ribble. I feel like that was a very awkward outfit of the day with just like random people <laughs> walking behind me. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was just a lot of food, mostly sandwiches, but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys really, really soon. Bye!